a man accused of serious crimes in India is getting a warm welcome in Qatar as the country hosts the FIFA World Cup. Zakir Nayak, a controversial Islamic preacher who's facing multiple criminal cases, is in Qatar to deliver religious sermons in the backdrop of the football tournament. Let's take a look at why India wants to put him behind bars and how he has avoided arrest for so long. Zakir Nayak became famous in the 1990s with his preaching and conversion activities. He is claimed to have an audience of around 20 crore across the world. His life in the limelight has been full of controversies. In 2021, he justified the demolition of a Hindu temple by a violent mob in Pakistan. Nayak said that Islamic nations cannot allow the building of temples. Back in 1998, Nayak had spoken in favour of Al-Qaeda chief Osama bin Laden, saying that he supports bin Laden if he is terrorising America, which is the biggest terrorist. Nayak had added that he stands with bin Laden if he is fighting the enemies of Islam. In 2016, the preacher said that Islam allows suicide attacks as a tactic in war, but they are haram or forbidden if innocents die. The same year, the Indian government said that Nayak had been praised by terrorists who carried out the July 2016 attack in Dhaka, Bangladesh. The terrorists, who had killed 22 people in a cafe, had said that they admired Zakir Nayak. As the controversies mounted, Nayak came under the scanner of Indian authorities. He now stands accused of hate speech and money laundering. His organization, the Islamic Research Foundation, or IRF, was also banned in 2016. Nayak is now wanted by the National Investigation Agency and the Enforcement Directorate. He allegedly promoted religious hatred and terrorism in India. He is also accused of amassing $28 million in ill-gotten wealth. India cancelled Nayak's passport in July 2016. Fleeing Indian agencies, Zakir Nayak took refuge in Malaysia, where he was supported by then Prime Minister Mahathir Mohammad. But his controversial streak continued. The Muslim country banned his speeches in 2020 as he came under fire from a minister for saying that Malaysian Hindus are more loyal to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi than their own country. Nayak was also banned from entering the United Kingdom in 2010. The UK government had called his behaviour unacceptable. Canada has banned his television channels called Peace TV and Peace TV Urdu. Bangladesh also banned the channels following the 2016 Dhaka terror attack. The television channels are also prohibited in Sri Lanka. India has been trying to get Nayak extradited. With the Malaysian Prime Minister supporting him, India also tried the Interpol route. But the International Police Organization has rejected India's requests for provisional arrest of Zakir Nayak under red notices. In 2017, India asked Interpol to declare Nayak an international fugitive. But Interpol rejected the appeal, saying that no charge sheet had been filed against him in court by then. In 2019, Interpol rejected India's red corner notice request as it did not want to be seen as for or against a religious figure. Then, in 2021, Interpol dismissed India's third plea for a red notice after questioning the invocation of money laundering charges. Now, Zakir Nayak's appearance in Qatar marks a fresh instance of tension between Delhi and Doha. Earlier this year, Qatar had objected to comments made by BJP leader Nupur Sharma against Mohammed, who is considered a prophet by Muslims. India has a few options to let its displeasure known with Qatar. The government can summon the Qatari ambassador in Delhi to register its protest. It can also issue a note verbale or demarche to Qatar. These are different forms of diplomatic communications. Finally, India can unite with France, the UK and other like-minded nations to press Qatar on international fora. With many alleged criminals evading Indian law by taking refuge in other countries, it's a test of India's diplomatic power and prowess to get them back for trial and, if needed, punishment.